YouTube. Good afternoon, fellas. Ferocious Lake Tile here. And I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. I am in Pennsylvania. Rhymes with, uh, what's that other place? Uh, Transylvania. <laughs> uh, I'm in a good mood, guys. I decided that I was going to give you all a video last night, but I was busy working out, so got tired after working out and I fell out. And this morning, I was going to give you one sort of early, but it rained all morning, so now that I got a little bit away from the rain, and now that it's uh, nice, temperatures warming up. It was only 60 earlier, now it's 81, so and the rain has stopped, so I'm glad of that. I hate driving in the rain because people drive really slow and super cautious, which makes them even more dangerous. I know it's hard to believe, but that's my experience. The more cautious they are, the more dangerous they are. Right? But, I digress. I figured I'd turn the camera on and give you all the video and I want to discuss the fact that we must be MGTOWs. Well, no, not even that. We need to be red peeled. That's a better way to put it. We need to be red peeled and apply that to every facet and every uh, aspect of our lives. I looked at a uh, video with Sandman earlier and he was talking about a different subject but he did at the end say that we need to be red pill in our thinking uh, in approach to other things in our lives and I agree so basically that sparked an idea in my mind that something that I've always kind of covered on my channel is the fact that we need to be red pill in everything we do we need to be red pill in our religion. We need to be red pill in our logic, of course. We need to be red pill in our law. We need to be red pill in our relationship, sex, war, um, education, um, finance, right? We need to be red pill in, in every aspect of our thinking because this is what's going to help us to stay on the straight and narrow and not be grinded up by the machine. The machine is dead set on grinding me and up and spitting us out. So we have to be red pill in our thinking in order to prevent this from happening on any level. Okay? Not just relationships. But I've seen a couple folks in my comment section and God bless their souls. Sort of confused and um, not really aware to the degree that some of us may be. That's how I'm going to say it. I'm going to be nice about it because they say something like, oh, God, I'm not uh, concerned about you putting your window in. Why not? We got to this point because we had no masculine direction. So we made a lot of mistakes in life. So not, not only do we make mistakes in our life uh, when it comes to women, we make mistakes in our life when it comes to every God doggone thing. We constantly make mistakes and those mistakes bring us to where we are today. Anything you, when you look around you, anything you have around you is because of your thinking. Whether it's good or bad, lack or abundance, it's because of your thinking. So, if you don't like what you see around you, which is the existence that you created out of your mind, then you don't like that, how do you change it? change that by taking red pills daily and seeing how grown men operate and you got thousands of channels now to 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 pull from 
to see how men handle themselves in everyday activities, not just when it comes to relationships with females. How do men deal with their children? How do we deal when we have to deal with the, with the law, i.e. the police? How do we deal with the courts? How, we, how do we deal when we out in public? How do we deal when we at the gym? How do we deal with paying our bills? How do we deal with, do we buy a car or do we lease a car? Do we buy a home or do we buy investment property? Do we buy gold and silver or do we buy Bitcoin? Do we get in stock market? Do we do bonds, mutual funds, ATFs, ETF, I mean? Do we buy expensive clothes or do we just go to the Goodwill and buy clothes? Do we save 401k or do we get an individual Roth RA? These are the questions that men need to know. So. That's why we want to catalog our daily existence by daily vlogs and whatever's going on in my life at the moment. Who knows which person can take advantage of that information? Because I cover a lot of subjects and I have a lot of truckers that have come on to the channel and some of them are new at it, some of them are old timers, some of them are in between. Right? We got young men, when I look at the demographics, when I go back to the analytics, and I look at the demographics on who is watching the channel, the majority of the people who watch the channel are the 20 to 34 range. 21, I think it says, to 34, something like that. That's the bulk of the watchers. And these are the men who need the most guidance. And not just in the area of relationships and females. And that's what this channel was about. It's about taking red pills daily and use that information, that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding in every aspect of your life not just females. Investment, real estate, travel, uh, cars, motorcycle, insurance, dealing with child support, dealing with children, dealing with divorce, dealing with marriages, dealing with just interacting with the opposite sex on a daily basis. They're not going nowhere got to interact with them. How do you do that and not be a sucker? Not start sipping out? How do you stand up for yourself and for your gender daily without sipping out and without being a sucker? So to me, everything is relevant. guys who in the comment section saying that you're not interested in this and you're not interested in that because it don't particularly pertain to you uh sir it is 455 subscribers on the channel everybody is not the same we all come from different backgrounds we're, we're in different countries we speak different languages we're different ages, right? Different in finances. So something that don't pertain to you particularly may pertain to somebody else. So the channel is just not for you alone, sir. <laughs> you know? That's why I listen to sort of everybody because everybody has something to contribute and I'm not the smartest 
uh, person in the world. I pride myself on learning. I am still learning every day. I'm still learning. I don't know it all. I don't pretend to know it all. And I take the position that I'm still learning. And I want to learn from guys that look like me, that been to the same experiences as me, and willing to share their uh, experiences so I can make a more informed decision. That's what I wanted to talk about today, guys. We need to be red pill in our thinking, period. Not just when it comes to sea sales. And that's what I tend to do. And I've been doing that on this site. It's not nothing new. Look at my past videos, I talk about everything. Some guys may disagree, and I, I, I respectfully welcome that. Maybe it'll, it'll make me think differently. Maybe it won't. But I, I, I'm open to the dialogue. Right now, we can't tell what's going to happen next. So you got to kind of cast a wide net. So you can be prepared for whatever happens. Even if you got to adjust your plans. Everybody's in the middle right now of adjusting their thinking and their plans. Because we know it's coming. We don't know when, and we don't we don't know the the, uh, the degree and how we're gonna have to change. Okay, but I'm ready, and I'm making I'm making the best plans I can, given the fact of all this uncertainty. That way, at least I have options to exercise no, no matter which way this boat, this ship that we call uh, a country, which way it go. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to bring you guys today. You need to be red pilling your thinking overall and in everything you do. If you're mailing a letter, you need to be red pilled. If you're going to dinner by yourself, you need to be red pill. If you're going to the gym, you need to be red pill. You're getting a parking ticket, you're being pulled over. You're being uh, disrespected somehow. By a female cashier, you need to be red pill. How do you handle these things without being labeled the angry guy? Where people feel so um, afraid that they they call men with guns to show up. So this is very very important work that we're doing, fellas. And I don't think we should take it lightly. I don't. I try not to come here and bash men for no reason because we all had to learn. I go to some channels that I subscribe to and they bash men all day over there. I still listen. I don't agree with it. But at certain points, those guys still come out with good gems and information that I can take away from them. The way I look at it is, at every, at, 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 uh, everyone at some point was blue pill, unaware, List in our ignorance. And through circumstance, happenstance, divine order, whatever you want to call it, you came aware of this information and was introduced to a, a group of individuals who experienced the same things and have come up with terms, descriptions, and a philosophy on how to handle yourself in this society 
that chews up me and spit them and spits them out. That's why I don't bash men, no matter what. Even you blue pillars, I try not to. I'm harsh on you guys, but I try not to bash you due to the fact that you just haven't uh, assumed, consumed, I should say, consumed enough red pills so you can start taking the rose-colored glasses off and, and see things, uh, see the reality of what you find yourself living in. So just keep this in mind, guys. This is for you guys who don't think some things are uh, important that some of us cover. I think everything is important. Simple as that. Because we got a lot of men that don't know. I remember when it, was, when it was a time that I didn't know. And guys pulled me to the side and helped me. All right? But okay, guys. I'm in Pennsylvania. Still headed to Philly. I'll make it there today. There ain't nothing but open road. There's a little bit more traffic out here than yesterday on this uh, Labor Day. And I'm looking at all these uh, hills and mountains or whatever in uh, Pennsylvania. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just that it ain't no fun when it get cold here and the snow hit the ground. But other than that, in the summertime, it's beautiful. I love it. But okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Hope everybody's safe. Hope everybody's being good stewards of your health. Hope you all are working out. Course, as always, I wish you guys more money, more money, more money, and I'll try to come up with something maybe later to pick. I'm gonna be stopping sort of early today, so I may find something when I cruise the YouTube streets to come at you all with something different. So just stay tuned and subscribe and uh, share the channel with other guys. We need to grow this channel, I need to get my thousand in because I was on uh, Hammer Hands. Uh, shout out to him live stream yesterday and he, he uh, has his live stream back he says and I want to be able to live stream too um, but when I when I shut down at the end of the day I still have a lot of energy left so that would be the time perfect time for me to live stream I could do a, a pre-recorded video during the day like I'm doing now and then do a live stream at night when I break down I think that'd be perfect that way I can hit y'all double breast and double bubble as we call it but okay guys uh share the channel because we need to get 500 more so i can be able to do that and uh i got other things set up i went over to subscribe star and set up a page i went to uh patreon set up a page i went to uh only fans and set up a page i'm gonna bring some some uh maybe some x-rated stuff when i go overseas and put it on there for you guys and uh just so we can all have some, some uh, kicks and giggles. And I uh, also did a big shoot. Um, and I haven't really been on them, but I'm gonna like try to figure it out because y'all gotta forgive me, you know, you know I'm 55 years old here and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get impressed with all this stuff. I set the pages up, but I gotta figure out how to download the videos and this, that, and the other, because at some point, uh, and then also what I'm gonna do is a backup channel get that going and get you all to subscribe to that because eventually they're going to come for all of us. Um, I think that's why they're trying to, uh, Dr. Phil trying to get um, uh, uh, Sandman on his, on his platform so they can basically take aim at us. So we got to all start doing what we can to make sure that we, flip, we continue to uh, play cat and mouse with them. They all over here. This guy's taking it forever. But okay, guys, I'm gonna get that all set up and start that second channel and get you all to subscribe. So just expect all this to be coming. All right, peace and hair grease.